Hey everyone, welcome to this Inventor HSM quick tip, applying grooves to turning. We'll select our groove operation. From our tools, we'll go find an outside grooving tool in our library. Once we have that selection, we'll then dive into our operation tabs. Now that we've got our tool, we'll click the geometry tab and we'll look at our front drop down. We're going to set it to selection and use this as a boundary for the front of our tool. For the back of our geometry, we'll set it to selection also. This will create a confinement for our operation. Now we'll select the Passes tab, where we can drop down to the Finishing Passes option and hit the check. We'll set our step over to 10 thousandths of an inch, and then we'll drop to our Roughing Passes and check that, and we'll adjust that to 30 thousandths of an inch. Now let's review the Linking tab and make sure that our Retrack options match what we need, as well as our Feed Rate options. Now we can select OK and review the toolpath that we just created. I'm going to make an edit to the toolpath we just created. I'm going to open up the tool tab. I'm going to go to the home options and I'm going to set it to go home only at the beginning of my toolpath. Now let's use the right click menu to create a duplicate of the toolpath we just created so we save all of our settings. From there we'll be able to adjust for our second groove. Now in the tree you can right click on it, edit, and we can make adjustments to this groove. On the Tool tab, I'm going to adjust my home position to only go home at the end of the toolpath. Now I'll click on the Geometry tab, and from here I'll clear my previous selections and make new selections for my new groove. For my back selection, I'm going to add an offset of a negative hundred thousandths of an inch to ensure that I go past the straight run out on my part. With those adjustments made, I'm going to go up to the Setup, right click, Simulate All, and review with the toolpaths that I just created. I'm going to step through the previous operations in this simulation and get us to the grooving operations. Now that we hit play, we can watch the material be removed for each of the two grooves that we've created. Notice that the tool doesn't return home between the two grooves because we modified that setting in both operations. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching and look for more tips to come.